So, there was a Pokemon Presents about an hour and a half ago. At the time of recording this, uh, I wanted to take some time and just compile my thoughts on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shine Pearl, as well as I'm going to talk about Pokemon Arceus. Or Pokemon Legends RCS, I should give it its proper time. Well, it makes it sound like it's game specifically about RCS, which I guess it is. Give it the full title. And I am going to say I'm not surprised that people aren't particularly happy about the new style, the new chibi style. For Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl. At first, I was a little, I was a, I was a little off by, it. but then when they explained that it's being done by a different studio, I was like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll give, I'll give it a chance. It, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look too bad. It's, it's still gonna be the same. It's still going to be a Diamond Pro remake. It's just the character is Chibi style, I guess. Which, considering, which shouldn't really be an issue for people, considering in the past, right at the start of the game, after you have your introduction with the Pokemon Professor, whether that be Oak or whoever, your character would be shrunk down. You guys remember that? So if the if, if Chibi style is a is is barring you, just remember that. Think of it like similar to that. Think of it similar to that. The art style doesn't really bother me. It's the same as Pokemon Home, as they specified that it's the people. Who, uh, who are buying Pokemon Home. And if you have Pokemon Home, you surely realized that the Pokemon look different in Home to what they look like in Sword and Shield. Yeah. So, and some of the Pokemon's art in, in Home looks really good. My only gripe with the Diamond Pro remakes is that they didn't announce or show Pokemon following you. And I was all prepared to go off on one, but then I then I took a moment, and this is the benefit of taking a moment. I took a moment and I was like well, they never said anything about that in Sword and Shield. And while, yes, in the main game, no such thing exists, in the DLC, it does. In the DLC, on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra, you can have your Pokemon following you. You have to finish the story. He of the Crown Ton, uh, of the Isle of Armor to get that. But it's there. So I'm hoping that just because it's an early look means it's not out of the question, it's not 100% guaranteed that we are not gonna get following Pokemon. Because following Pokemon is something it's really, it's Widely liked, it's liked by more fans that than people dislike it. I don't even know anyone who does dislike it, and if you do dislike it, you don't have to have them following you. You can opt not to. So, like in uh, Let's Go, you can have no Pokemon follow you. Just Unselect the Pokemon that's 
or one speech or Eevee, depending on which version of the game you play. If you don't select a Pokemon to follow you, they'll sit on your shoulder or head and just go about the game. And uh, if you don't have the DLC, you probably didn't even know that there was following Pokemon in the DLC unless you've seen it on YouTube or Twitch or whatever. So, I'm hoping, I'm hopeful that following Pokemon will be in the game at some point. I would like it to be in from the beginning, or at least very early, but I guess post-game would be okay, too. Just be nice to have. So, yeah. And... Yeah, that's that's pretty much everything for Diamond and Pearl remakes. That's my complete thoughts. So let's talk about Legends Arceus, which <laughs> is like you can make the first uh, Pokedex and you can do it with these random starters. Like seriously, what do other than being stars, what do Cyndaquil, Oshawa, and Rowlet have in common? I was like, I was, I was trying to think. Well, like, are, R Rowlet and is kind of the odd one out, and I'll explain that in a second. Because, like, you take Cyndaquil and Oshawa, they stay fire and water types throughout their evolutionary life. But Rowlet is dual type from the beginning. It's why it's grass flying. And when it eventually evolves from Dartrix to Decidueye, it becomes Grass Ghost. Which I mean I'm, I don't mind. I am a huge fan of of Dartrix. I think it's really cool. So, you know, I'm not against having Rowlands. I was. It just kind of seems out of place. Like, it's the problem with not having many other. Like, even if they wanted to go with Pokemon who eventually get jewel types, they would have had to pick a. The likes of Torchic or, or uh, um, Tepig or uh, I guess they couldn't pick Chinchar because you'll have the chance to catch a wild one. And War. The only other water Pokemon that gets a secondary typing, other than Empoleon, which is part of the Piplup line, which again is in is going to be catchable. You can catch wild. You'll be able to catch wild Piplup in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I think it's only the popular line. Trying to think now. Let's see. Blastoise, uh, Blastoise, Blastoise, no. Brawligar, no. Swampert, yes. So they could have picked Mudkip or the Mudkip line. Um, can't pick Hush. Uh, they can't pick. They couldn't pick uh, Piplup because it's, it's meant to be in the center region. You're starting off the book, the center Pokedex with Piplup, and Piplup will be part of that and its evolutionary line. Oshawa is what they went with. Papio. And then Antillion. 
so yeah, so I guess if it was going to be a a Pokemon that could do dual typing, it was only going to be, it could have only been the Pop Wheel line or, or the Mudkip line, but they went with Pure War type, which again, I'm not, not big, I don't have a big issue with. Um, I, during my first playthrough of Black and White, I, I played with Oshawott, so I'm not against that. Him, uh, it being an option. Cynical is the best starter in Johto. I don't think many would disagree with that. Maybe some people's favorites are uh, Chikoria, or maybe some people prefer her. <clears throat> or excuse me, uh, or maybe some people prefer her um, just said it totally out. Sorry, uh, maybe some people prefer totally out. I don't hate totally It's good for you, you could easily use a totally out. Oh, oh, that's another one that. The situation where I I played through the first time I I always like when I was younger I always used to start with the water type because I just knew you need water you need a surfer at some point and like the best choice I guess is the water type to my childhood brain at those times I guess. Seeing that I also did that in Diamond Pearl. And Pip-Up is certainly not the best start for a Diamond Pearl game. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not the best. Anyway. I'm... I'm interested. I've... It's clearly modeled after uh, Breath of the Wild. So, yeah. Who knows? I am somebody who, and I know this is going to be a cardinal sin, I've never played any of the Link games. I've never played any of them. But maybe when this game comes out, when Legends Arceus comes out, it'll convince me, maybe I should give it a try. Who knows? Very unlikely, to be honest. Because I wouldn't know the first thing I'd I wouldn't know the first thing about the games, except it's kind of, it's a hero, same way a princess who gets kidnapped sometimes. What is it with Nintendo and doing that, by the way? That's two series, but that's the plot of pretty much. Just an odd similarity. Those two series. Anyway, yeah. So, you know, people can hate on Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearls, new art style. I'm not. I guess. I guess maybe because I've seen it so much in home, I'm not as against it. My only hope is that they will, closer to the release date of the games, I love how they said, late 2021. Come on. We both know it's November. You know it's November. I know it's November. Every Pokemon fan knows it's more than likely middle November or to like late November or unless you do it in October again but I I wouldn't hold my breath it'd be great if it came out a little bit earlier but I won't hold my breath and the year should you so yeah if people 
are really hating on the new art style, then play Legend, the Legends Arceus game, which is, I'm pretty sure it's a different style as well. Cool. Look a lot different. It's not. Certainly not the exact same as Sword and Shield. Yeah. So, that is my thought on Pokemon to present today. Things are going to get interesting. We've Diamond Pro remakes are confirmed. They're in a chibi style. Hopefully they'll have following Pokemon. And Legends Arceus is an RPG in the style of Breath of the Wild. Okay. This should be interesting. Let me know when you think early 2022 is. Will that be like February, January time? Hmm. Because that would be only a couple months after Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It's going to be a couple months whenever they come out. So that should be interesting and expensive. Thanks, Pokemon. Thanks. My wallet hates you.